Ever wonder about the inner workings of the District of Squamish? Three of our newest councillors have been getting to the bottom of how our facilities are maintained and our services delivered. Join us as we go behind the scenes to see what they discovered along the way. Welcome to the District of Squamish. What were you doing in there, Peter? What are you doing in my house? Never mind that. Were you flushing food down the toilet? No. Oh, Peter, I gotta show you why that's a bad idea. Hi, I'm Bob Smith. I'm the Director of Oper Operations for the District of Squamish. I, uh, I oversee the wastewater treatment plant, and I'd like to introduce uh, Stacy. He is our wastewater treatment plant chief operator. Hi. So this is Carney's delivering us some um, material that comes from either uh, um, septic systems or from porta potties, these guys will go around and provide a service to collect the sewage and it gets um, deposited at our wastewater treatment plant. The process that goes on in there is to remove the, the solids that we don't want to see in the waste stream. So we have a bar screen in there that will move things like handy wipes and, and a lot of the, the products that can come into our waste stream that we don't want there. They'll also take our, we also have a grit remover in there so that'll pull out things like eggshells and coffee grinds. And it's, it's really important for people to understand that we actually mechanically remove that material and take it to the landfill. So, garburetors and, and things that get flushed down the toilet that shouldn't go in there are actually having to be handled down here and removed mechanically using power, using energy to take it to the landfill, and that's not what we want to see. What we have here are three mason jars, and we've got some paper towel, a Kleenex, and toilet paper. And what we're going to show the good people of Squamish today is why toilet paper is flushable and paper towel and Kleenex are not. Okay, so I'm going to shake each jar so people can see what happens when um, paper towel mixes with water, Kleenex mixes with water, and toilet paper mixes with water. Okay. Right, so this is paper towel. Still very much paper towel. Yep. Alright, this is a Kleenex. A simple Kleenex. Simple Kleenex. Not the super deluxe brand, just your average Kleenex. It doesn't even break down. It hasn't broken down at all. It's just Kleenex. Alright, so here is the toilet paper. And the toilet paper is gone. Well, that is why we only put toilet paper down the toilet. 